हेलो एवरीवन दिस योगेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप एवरीवन इज गुड राइट सो इन दिस टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एरेज टू डी एरेज राइट सो दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द टुडेज टॉपिक सो बिफोर दैट इफ यू न्यू टू आवर चैनल एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड या लेट स्टार्ट एंड वन मोर थिंग इफ हैव नॉट सीन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू दिस जावा सीरीज देन आई होप आई विल रिकमेंड एवरीवन टू गो एंड चेक दोस वीडियोस बिकॉज those are also important and basic concept if you know then no worries if you don't know then please 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 go and watch those videos right so today we are going to talk about arrays so basically what is array so before knowing that why we require array what is array let's see some things right so for example if we have some information like if we want to store uh, for example if we want to store some marks for example if we want to store some marks so i'm store, storing in a variable like 70 marks right if we want to store some for example biology marks so i am writing biology it's i'm writing 80 if you want to store mathematics marks so i'm storing it in a 9 like this int math equals to 90 like this i'm storing some variables right but if i have 100 subjects for example if we have 1000 subjects then we are not going to make 100 variables 1000 variables right we are not going to make right so for that we require some data structure we require some container in which everything will be stored together right we want something like if we want to go from location a to location b if there are three friends three friends can go in three bicycles right and they can go to b right from a to b they can move in three bicycles if we have five friends we can go in five bicycles but if we have 100 friends we are not going to take 100 bicycles right from a to b we are going to book a bus or something like that truck bus not truck we are going to uh, book a bus right so in this bus we are uh, 100 students are going to go from a to b they are going to travel from a to b 100 students in a single bus means it is a very large bus okay that's why hundred students so uh, we want something like a bus in this uh, java as well so we are going to use arrays where we can use store 100 or 1000 information together of same type right if we have integers so in array we are going to store of same type that is integer only not a mixture of int string boolean and all no right so we can uh, make an array you make an make a use of an array so we can make an array of integer string boolean anything right so let's take a array of an integer right so let's take so let's take an mark let's take an array of marks so how we are going to take so if you write int then you have to write a third bracket then you have to write variable name that is marks equals to new int like this okay and here you have to specify the size of this array so i am giving the size as for example i am giving it as 3 that i want to store 3 information right so uh, let's take smaller only let's take 2 let's store 2 information only so uh, like you can take 100 as well if you want to store 100 information you can to take as 100 if you want to take 1000 information you can take as 1000 right so for example i am taking uh, let's check three like uh, we have right Ma uh, marks biology math so uh, physics le lete ek p h y s i c x right we have biology math and physics right so let's store in mark 0 like uh, we have three information right we have uh, declared a size 3 so we can store three information in this marks variable right so we can store uh, like 70 in the first we can store 18 in the second and we can store 90 in the third so we have stored three information like biology maths and physics information in this marks of 0 marks of 1 and marks of 2 right so like this i have stored three information in this three location marks of 0 1 and 2 so if we want to print like if we want to print yeah here so i have to print the information like 70 80 and 90 so simply directly you can run a loop like uh, let's discuss uh, we will discuss loop in some other videos uh, but uh, without loops let's try i am printing marks of 0 and uh, let's do one more marks of 1 and let's do one more time marks of 2 right and if i try to run this code then you can see that this three information are getting printed 70 80 and 90 so this is an array a simple array right and i have tried to store three three information if we want some static information like you can directly store a information directly without initializing like this you can take like this 
for example x y z i have taken a uh, randomly like this and i am storing this curly braces 1 2 and 3 so basically i am storing this three information 1 2 3 inside this array x y z whose size will be of 3 right you can take in the static way as well so this was a 1d array right if we want to define a 2d array then you can give a two brackets right uh, like matrix if we want to define a matrix so we can write matrix equals to new and like this okay so let's define of size 2 comma 2 like this so like this you can define a 2d matrix of size 2 cross 2 okay 2 cross 2 is like this i am storing like i said 2 2 2 2 this is the matrix right 2 2 2 2 i am storing like this for example so let's store uh, not running a loop uh, let's show, show me a static one as well so you can take uh, x y z like this as equals to you can take like this so you have to inform give two information three like this so this is a kind of a static 2d array right like this you can store this is the first row and this is the second row right so uh, like um, if i want to store in this matrix so 0 comma 0 is equals to 1 let's take matrix of 0 comma 1 is equals to equals to 2 i want matrix of 1 comma 0 is equals to 3 and matrix of 1 comma 1 is equals to 4 right so if you want to if you want to print this informations then matrix of this whole information i will be printing okay so so basically i wanted to print using a for loop but as uh, i think some of you don't know but if you are a beginner of a for loop if you don't know right so uh th that's why i'm not explaining for loop here uh that's why directly i'm printing like this okay so printing like this fine so let's try to print this and it will be printed in a form of a matrix right so this is printed one two and three four in a form of a matrix right if you print space as well then there will be space in between one and two and three and four right but uh, this is a basic concept of the 2d array like you can store in this two dimension right so and uh, like matrix as well you can say and this was a static way like you can directly assign a 2d array in this variable xyz right so i don't want it to print like this but as i think some of you don't know uh, for loop i will be explaining those things in a very fast way like uh, i will not take more time in for loop and all right so yeah this was everything about 2d array i think you have understood this so let's uh, forever uh, think of casting like what is casting implicit and explicit casting so let's talk about casting right so that two dev casting one is an implicit casting so i m p l i implicit casting and is explicit casting explicit casting right so in this implicit casting what it happen is that java automatically convert automatic convert from lower type to higher type right to lower type to higher type but in explicit conversion the user has to force to convert from higher to lower right from higher to lower forced so user forces it so let's see why it's happening like this so for example we have a beaker of 10 ml and we have one more beaker of 20 ml right so if we have water in this right so if we try to pour this 10 ml water in this 20 ml water nothing will happen right 10 ml simply it will be contained in this 20 ml uh, beaker right nothing will happen right so if we try to put all this water in this 20 ml nothing will happen right so similarly is in this implicit type that java will automatically convert from lower to higher like there will be no issues but if we have 10 ml beaker if we have 20 ml beaker and 20 ml is fully filled right and if we try to put this 20 ml water in this 10 ml beaker so only 10 ml will be filled and rest of the 10 ml will be overflow right 10 ml will be overflow only 10 ml will be inside this and remaining 10 ml will be overflowed right so some information will be lost right that's why java doesn't allow automatically conversion from higher to lower java will convert lower to higher no issues because there is no data loss right this 10 ml is here and this is also here as well right but um, in the alternative case twin in this it was 20 ml but in this we have only 10 
remaining 10 is lost that's a java doesn't convert this automatically so user forces it but again there will be some data loss so let me explain that how it's happening so for example we have uh, marks we have a marks for example 22 marks right and uh, there is a uh, for example uh, we take some extra marks i gone to the teacher i showed him that this was some issues uh, this is my answer is correct and you have showed a wrong so please increment this so updated marks right so i went to the teacher and told him to upgrade my mark because this was correct and you put this wrong right so please upgrade my marks so he upgraded my marks like this he added some 15.2 marks yes, right so 20 30 37 30, 37 was the passing marks right so somehow i tried and i increased 12 point 15.2 marks and i added those thing in 22 so instead of 22 we can write marks as well because marks uh, 22 was stored in this marks right now if we try to print this updated marks then there will be no issues like if we try to print this simply 37.2 will be printed like you can see in the output console 37.2 is printed because this was my 22 was my integer right but we tried to store in this double then there was no issues we added some double information no issues automatically it updated from lower to higher type but if we if we take an int marks right as 22 right i go on to the teacher i, I updated my marks up, updated my marks right and this time how much i updated 15.2 right if i try to update with 15.2 you can see an error is showing like uh, some error it's saying it's required int but we have provided a double right so it's saying that it's not automatically converting double to int because we have written 15.2 right so it's a dub double right so integer plus double and we're storing an integer so java will not automatically it will it will not convert right because there will be some data loss so we have to force it so we can write like this so now you can see that a red line is gone that is an error is gone so we we have we are trying to do a casting that is we are converting this double to an integer and we are storing an integer right so if you are trying to do these things then uh, there will be some data loss so let's see what is a data loss let's see in an output console so what according to you what will be the output 22 plus 15.2 then this will be 17 37.2 right but if we try to run this if we try to run this in output console we can see that only 37 is printed and in the above section it was 37.2 because this was printing through this right but in the second time it is only 37.2 is gone so how it gone because we tried to store our double in an integer we tried to convert into a lower type that's why this after point everything is gone right so this was our extra data which is which is now gone right so yeah this was everything about uh casting implicit and explicit type casting so i think this casting part is also clear with you all and yeah, that's it for today's video let's meet in some another video if you like this video then please 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 like this video and comment down below if you have learned something new that's it and if you're new to our channel then please subscribe right so let's meet in some another video of the kelly bye bye